Story time. Last week I was contacted by somebody to make some groomsmen's gifts. Clearly, not the best planner, he left himself just one week to get these gifts together. Fortunately for him, I had lots of time and this wouldn't be any trouble for me to get these gifts together for him. Or so I thought. So last Friday, this gentleman, the groom, and I confirmed all the details regarding these custom dart cases that he was looking for. That is a dart case. Shout out to Treehouse Pattern UK for the pattern that I got for this dart case. Without that pattern, there's no way I'd been able to make this happen. Link in the description for that pattern. So fortunately, he only wanted six of these. So getting six of these done in five solid working days, not a big deal be able to make it happen. Unfortunately, I didn't have five working days. I ended up having about eight working hours. Okay, so follow me here. The wedding, next Saturday, which is actually two days from now while I'm filming, but from the start of this. Wedding is on Saturday, which means I need to have these delivered by Friday. So I don't have five working days, I have four working days. Fortunately, or unfortunately, Monday is a holiday in Canada, which means I go from five working days to four, now I'm down to three working days. Wednesday, I was here. So that leaves me with Tuesday and Thursday. But in order to keep up with the demands of social media and feeding the algorithm, I need to film and edit this video you're watching right now. So normally to film and edit and post a video on time, it's about eight working hours. So I've gone from five solid working days to get these done to a total of about eight available hours. So here's how I managed to get that done in that very short period of time. So if I was gonna be able to get this done, I needed to be as efficient as possible. That meant batching tasks. So I started by laying out all the pieces of leather, tracing each piece and roughly cutting out the larger sections. This left me with six chunks of leather and all the necessary pieces for all the dark cases. I was then able to clear the bench, get out the X-Acto, scaving knife and cut out all the pieces all at once. So getting into the weeds a bit, what I would do is actually let, put the piece of leather in front of me and cut out everything, rotate the piece 90 degrees. This means I was moving the leather less flip it versus flipping it all around, cutting out one piece at a time. I just batched everything out. It made it a lot more efficient. So this batching of those pieces is where I was really able to save a lot of time versus trying to cut everything out on a larger hide or doing everything individually, batch the tasks together become more efficient, saves a lot of time. Okay, so with all the pieces cut out, I can then use the paper templates to mark all the necessary holes that I'd use as guides for my pricking irons. Marking the start and stop points made it easy later to set the pricking irons on those holes and simply strike. I didn't have to think about it. I just placed it on there, made the process significantly faster. So having paper templates where you've already worked out all these dimensions can save a huge amount of time versus doing it by hand in the moment. And marking all of the similar pieces all at once saves me a huge amount of time. You can imagine if I had two stations set up, one to mark the holes, another one to start stamping, I'm moving back and forth between two different stations versus completing one task all at once and then moving on to the next. So the next step was to pre-finish all of the tops that I wouldn't have access to once they're glued down. So this is fairly straightforward. I just laid out all the similar pieces, went through, sanded down those edge, add the token all, burnished the edge for each of the light pieces, moved on to the next. At this point, I'm feeling pretty good. Pieces are coming together and I'm feeling pretty good about the progress. That feeling is short-lived. One thing I often forget to consider is the actual time it takes to simply thread the needles. On a single wallet, obviously that process is fairly quick. You're threading two needles, doing a stitch, it's not that big a deal. But on these dark cases, I had 13 individual runs of thread. So that's 26 individual needles I had to thread, cut, snip, burn, stitch. So the time it took to actually just simply prep the needles was way longer than I had anticipated. Fortunately for you, I'm not gonna show you all that process. I didn't even film it because it would have been a waste of time threading a needle, not very fun. So once I had all those internal pieces stitched up, I could then glue those two internal pieces to the main body. It's fairly straightforward. There's not much way to make this part more efficient. I would add the glue to two or three of the pieces, go back to the first one, stick everything together, and then move my way forward. Made it a little bit more efficient versus doing one, letting the glue dry, and then sticking it together. 
Once everything was glued up, I could come through, cut all the corners. Fortunate for me, the radius actually matched perfectly for the Ritza thread dowels, so I could just place that down, cut along that. Corners are fairly quick. So punching all the stitching holes was another slow process I didn't anticipate. I thought because I had a pattern, it'd be fairly quick. Unfortunately, I forgot to mark the corners first. So had I punched the corners first, I could have then worked up to the edge and the difference in stitch space and I could just add to the edge and you wouldn't really notice it. Unfortunately, I punched from the edges first, which means I then had to lay out everything to match so the spacing worked out properly. This actually slowed the process down. I should have marked the corners first, worked out from there, filled in the center, would have been a lot more efficient. So with all that punched out, measured out the thread, stitched up all those main panels, more stitching, you've seen it before. So now we're into the home stretch, edge finishing. I have an entire series that I just released that's dedicated to edge finishing. So I'll spare you the time of watching me do all these edges and you can go check out that video series. So there you go. That's how I managed to make six star cases in just eight hours. So again, if you want to check out the plans for this fun little project, Treehouse Patterns UK, I've got a link in the description, go check it out. Thank you to Adam for making these plans available. It was a huge help in getting this project done. Without that, there's no way I would have been able to get it done. If you want to check out some of the final photos of how these turned out, you can go follow me on Instagram, norfolk.handmade. If you yourself are a groom who lacks any sort of planning ability, contact me. I can hook you up with some wallets, dark cases. Message me, norfolkhandmade.com. If you've enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, hit that little bell notification icon for when I post my next video. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.